Hi, Haley. Happy Monday. Oh, look, it's my scars. That is the last time there's going to be nudity on this channel, so shush, go away. Uh, Marie Antoinette, I too remember being bored the first time I watched that movie, and I think it had to do with me expecting a more riveting historical plot. But you're right, it is very visually striking and beautiful, and the cinematography is awesome. Honestly, though, now whenever I think of that movie, all I can think of is The Girl in the Fireplace, Doctor Who episode, which is way better, in my opinion. I'm also glad you're having fun dancing again. I'm jealous. I'm joining you in my mind. I'm there dancing with you in Portland. That sounds fun. I'll just imagine that. I'll just dream that. Side note, I did dream that I hugged Hank Green last night, and it was a really amazing hug. So like I mentioned before, I went to see Driftless Pony Club in concert on Tuesday night, and they were awesome. What can I say? That I blows my mind how good of a band they are. Like, their music is wonderful. I bought two of their albums at VidCon, and I've been playing them along with all other YouTube-related music on repeat and playlist. When we were on the way to see Driftless Pony Club, the best thing happened! Most of the people watching this, I realize, live in Seattle, so you probably don't understand how boring it is to drive across Golden Gate Bridge. Most of the time, it's full of traffic, and tourists, and really scary, because if you don't know, the Golden Gate Bridge is divided by these tiny, tiny little orange cones that they move from lane to lane, depending on rush hour, and the lane that is the middle, like closest to the other side, is known as the death lane, because it is the most frightening thing to see the other, like, cars and trucks barreling towards you. So just as we were, like, getting ready to go on the bridge, and everyone's merging, and it takes forever, and blah blah blah, these guys pull in front of us, and this kid <laughs> starts eating, like, I think it was an ice cream sandwich as slowly and sensually as possible, and we just started cracking up, and we're having a great little time. Vanessa filmed, like, a tiny little clip of it. I will link you to her video. Then, after she finished filming, we, like, got on the bridge, and I was following him, and I didn't even mind being in the death lane, because I wanted to be behind these guys, because they were hilarious. And then the guy in the back seat starts taking his shirt off. I think he may have taken his pants off, but it was really hard to tell because like the sun was setting and there was weird glare and so we tried to like pull up beside them but we ended up passing them and we lost them after the toll booth and I was really sad because I really wanted to meet those guys so if this is you watching this video right now you should find us because we want to be your friends this video that I had a great conversation with Craig but I didn't tell you what was in the conversation I told Haley on the phone hi Haley but for anyone who doesn't know, the after their concert at VidCon, I went to go buy their CD and get it signed. I get to up to Craig at the end of the line, and he's signing my shirt, and I say, I'm totally gonna come see you guys when you go to Café du Nord, because I'm from up there. And he goes, you're from Café du Nord? And I say, oh yeah, totally, I was born in the basement. No, I'm actually from a small town just above San Francisco. And China says, above? Like, actually above? And I was like, oh yes, I live in the clouds. I'm actually a Pegasus in disguise. And Craig says, this just keeps getting better and better, at which point I was like, yes. So when we got there, a friend Emily was like, look, it's Pegasus Girl, and he was like, oh yeah, that was good times. And so we talked for a while about like San Francisco and VidCon and the weather and whatever crap, and then we asked him for a picture, and then after the picture was taken, he turns to me and goes, was China there when we were talking about the Pegasus thing? And I was like, yeah. He's like, do you mind if I take a picture of you and text it to her? He pulls me over to better lighting and takes a picture of the two of us on his iPhone and texts it to China saying, Pegasus Girl. So there's now a picture of me stored on Wheezy Waiter's iPhone. <laughs> I still, like, can't believe that. It's hilarious and beautiful, and that's all I have to say. I have a couple of videos that I'm wanting to make. Um, I don't know how far in the future they'll be, because I have a feeling I'm going to want to do a video response towards your commercial dance video. First is a review of the book Model Land by Tyra Banks. Laura, one of our viewers, hi Laura, said that she really likes it when we talk about books. The other video is inspired by what you said in your last vlog um, about the community that we're in. Plus, ever since VidCon, I've been talking to like people, like my parents and my grandma, about the YouTube community and trying to define it. And it's made me think about what the difference is between a fandom and a community. So I want to talk about that in a video, but I don't know which one to make first. So you and anyone else who cares can comment on wherever you are, Facebook or YouTube or wherever, and let me know, and then I will make that video first. So, yeah. Bye!